Hi everyone, it's Angela Dahlgren and today I'm taking you on an overview of Disney's Old Key West Resort. Disney's Old Key West Resort is a large collection of two to three story buildings modeled after Caribbean style residences and guest houses of the Florida Keys. Set subdivision style around a golf course and along Bonnet Creek, the buildings are arranged in small neighborhood-like clusters. They feature pastel facades, white trim, and shuttered windows. Disney's Old Key West Resort is different because of its location. The resort is located downstream from Disney Springs, and it can be accessed via a short boat ride. If you like larger rooms, you'll probably be a fan of this resort. Likely due to it being the first Disney Vacation Club resort, rooms here are larger than at all the other Disney Vacation Club resorts. For a look inside one of these rooms, specifically a one-bedroom villa, I have a video that I'll link below. Studios are 376 square feet, one-bedroom villas are 942 square feet, two-bedroom villas are 1,333 square feet, and the grand villas are 2,202 square feet. This resort also has around 64 accessible rooms. Some feature roll-in showers, others have assistive hearing devices, and a subset of these rooms have been converted to comply with Florida's accessibility code. To find out which rooms have which features, check out the Touring Plans Room Finder. As for dining, Olivia's is a fun, out-of-the-way dining spot if you have a little extra time to navigate out to Old Key West. Service is excellent and there's some outside seating which looks out over the waterway. In my opinion, Olivia's is definitely one of those underrated restaurants on Disney property that you really need to check out at some point. At breakfast, try the banana bread French toast. At lunch, try the Key West burger topped with grilled shrimp and pepper jack cheese. And for dinner, try the prime rib or the buttermilk chicken. Gurgling Suitcase Libation and Spirits has wine, domestic and imported beer, and you can get the menu from Olivia's for lunch and dinner. Right next door, Goods Food To Go is a quick service destination that offers a selection of burgers, sandwiches, salads, and sides like french fries and onion rings. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Near one of the quiet pools, Turtle Shack has a small menu made up of hot dogs, pizza, salads, and sandwiches. There is also a small selection of beers and cocktails. Finally, pizza delivery is available to your room. Disney's Old Key West has four pools. The largest, the Sandcastle Pool, sits near the outside of the Hospitality House. One thing I love about this pool is that there's sand near the pool for kids to play in, so make sure you bring sand toys. There's also a hot tub and a kiddie pool. The other smaller pools are considered quiet pools, and they're located near buildings 19 and 20, buildings 39, 40, and 41, and there's another one near building 55. Old Key West pools have a chairlift device that can lower guests in wheelchairs into the shallow end of the pool, and you can check with any lifeguard for assistance on using that lift. There's also a few playgrounds on property, each set has a small plastic slide and a couple of sections with a few steps for toddlers to go up and down on. Transportation to the parks is done via bus. Walking time to transportation loading areas from the most remote rooms is about six minutes. However, a nice perk is that you can get to Disney Springs via boat. Access to that boat is located near the Hospitality House. Disney's Old Key West Resort's gift shop is Conch Flats General Store. It's located in the hospitality house near the lobby, and it has a decent collection of souvenirs and basic pharmacy items. The two arcades are Electric Eel Game Room and Flying Fish Game Room. Both have a pretty good collection of relatively recent video and arcade games. The community hall near the hospitality area offers crafts, a pool table, and rental movies and board games. Disney's Old Key West features several sports courts, including shuffleboard, tennis, volleyball, and basketball. There's bike and Surrey bike rentals, fishing, a sauna beneath the lighthouse by the main pool, a fitness center also near the main pool. There's campfire activities, movies under the stars, 
laundry facilities, and a 1.37 mile jogging trail along the golf greens and water canals. That's all I have for today. If you have any questions, leave them below. Be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.